Thanks for joining today. I'm here with Hector again, and we jumped to his Brandon Lee collection, specifically The Crow and uh, a lot of other Brandon Lee movies. I remember when Brandon hit the screen, it was one of my favorite times because Bruce passed away almost 20 years, and then his son hits the screen at that time, and I started feeling the same excitement uh, all over again and reliving the whole Bruce Lee phenomenon again. Yeah, I, I went nuts when he hit the screen. And I then, did too, yeah. And yeah. then all this great memorabilia came out on him. So I'm gonna have Hector share with us today uh, his top three Brandon Lee items, and as you can see, uh, The Crow, I think, is uh, one of his favorite films. So uh, I'm going to hand this off to Hector, and he's going to share some of his uh, top three pieces with us. Yeah, man. Well, you know, like you said, uh, Charlie, when Brandon first came out, it was kind of like seeing Bruce again in a way. Absolutely. Because, um, uh, you know, Brandon was good looking. He was very charismatic as well. I mean, nowhere near his dad. Right, right. But uh, he had his own persona, and I love Brandon. And I think that The Crow was his masterpiece. Well, you have some collection here, man. This is fantastic. Well, thank you, man. I mean, you know, it's not like a really big collection, but it's filled with stuff that I enjoy, that I love. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been collected ever since The Crow came out. I started with the magazines, with the photos, and uh, picked up a few of these pieces here. And so what are your what are your top pieces? If you were to point out some of your top pieces you have in here, what, 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 what do you get drawn to? You know what it is, Charlie? As a collector, the, the rarest piece is not always your favorite piece right it's uh it could be a a magazine it could be a small little uh figure mm -hmm. so um but to me my personal favorite is the one that started off my collection which is what it's this guy up here ah now was that a model or was that a that was a model kit mm -hmm. and it was professionally put together and painted by an artist uh in the east village ah so you actually bought it already painted. Already done. Because I painted. have that too, but mine's not painted. It's actually still in the box. No, he... But you had yours painted. That's a beautiful he did, job he, that he did on he that. Wow. He certainly did, yeah. So that that's actually my very first Brandon Lee piece. You know, I think that was one of my first that I picked up also, because when that model came out, uh -huh. right, uh, I, that was like one of the first crow pieces that they put out. I never got mine painted though. You have to hook me up with that painter because I, I yeah. think I'm going to do that next. Well, I bought him like 22 years ago. Oh, okay. Ago. Maybe 20, 20 right. years ago when the crow came out. Yeah, I got you. So I don't know where he is now, but uh, but you know what's also pretty cool? This is a crow yo-yo. It's a crow yo-yo. It's the only one of its kind. Now, what's the story behind the yo-yo? I went to Comic-Con. Uh-huh. And Comic-Con, I was talking to a guy about the crow and right. the collectibles. And he tells me, you ever heard of a crow yo-yo? And I says, a crow yo-yo? I have. He says, but I, I heard it's a myth. It's not, some people say it exists, others say it doesn't. But how do you know about the crow yo-yo? And I says, well, the reason I know about it is because I have it. <laughs> and he says, you, you, he's looking at me yeah. like I'm full of it, you know? But here it is. This is the and, crow yo-yo. And yo -yo. how many he said came out at the time? Just a handful? Only three were made. Three. This is actually a prototype. It was made by Todd McFarlane, who does all those wonderful toys. Yeah, all the figures. And he tried to put out a crow yo-yo. It's made of metal. And it comes in a box, and the black part in the bottom, that's a bag. Yeah. For you to put your yo-yo in. And he also did an original art. If you can see on the left, that's an original uh, artwork for what was supposed to be a commercial item, yeah. which never never took wow. off. And they never put that out there. They Those never put it prototypes. Out. Wow, they, that that's is a prototype. rare piece, man. That's a great piece to have in your collection. Yeah, so you told Fantastic. me three of them exist, and I'm, I was lucky to have one. And, and what's this piece here, the, the arm? Where, where did that come from? That's a really interesting piece. You know, these pieces, this is a very significant piece of my collection as well. It's from Profiles in History, and... Uh, uh, Profiles in History is owned by uh, Joseph Maddalena. Mm -hmm. He's a uh, top uh, memorabilia collector and sales salesman. And I got this from uh, a collector who bought it from Profiles in History. Those are the original arms that Brandon used in The Crow when Fun Boy uh, is ready to shoot him and Brandon place, places his hand oh, with the gun. In, on the, the barrel of yeah. the gun and Fun Boy shoots and creates this hole. Oh, wow. And Brandon looks through the hole, you know? And that's the... Uh Certificate of Authenticity that comes with it, right? From Profiles in History, so signed show... by uh, Madalena. Wow, yeah. so that's yeah. an original piece, man. That's great. Yeah, man. That's a fantastic piece, Hector. Thank you, bro. And the one in the bottom is the, the uh, slap board uh, used by the uh, director, Alex Proyas, during the filming of The Crow. And what's also interesting about this is the date, mm -hmm. June 23rd, 1993. Oh, yeah, look at that. Which was the last day of shooting. Right. But that's not the last day when Brandon died. It's when they went back to the project right. after Brandon had passed. Right. And they went back to the project and they said, you know what, we have to uh, 
we got to put this movie out Together. in memory of Brandon mm -hmm. Lee. So uh, that was the last day of shooting. Oh, I see. So when they, when they remade the movie without him. When they finished it finished without, without him, him, yeah. I got you, I got you. Wow, those are great pieces, Hector. You yeah, should be really man. proud of this collection, man. This is another great collection of yours. Thank you, bro. So, and of course, I got a few, a few of the autographs. This is a, prof uh, a, a promotional uh, autograph photo from Rapid Fire. I got this from top uh, Green Hornet collector, um, J.R. Goodman. Oh, I remember J.R. Goodman, yeah. I got, yeah, I got that from him. So these are all signed by Brandon Lee. Those are signed by Brandon. And this one I got from a friend of mine who passed away years ago who met Brandon at one of those, uh, remember those banquets? Yeah. Those Bruce Lee oh, nuclear? Oh, and he didn't, have any, he didn't have any Brandon Lee photos because he didn't know that Brandon was going to be there. Yeah. So he borrowed a photo from a friend that was there. Went to one of those Dwayne Reeds, made a Xerox copy, came back and had Brandon sign the Xerox. Wow, copy. that's fantastic. Yeah, man. That's really good stuff. Well, thank you for sharing your Crow collection. Thank you, bro. Me, uh, Hector, this is really great. My pleasure. I appreciate man. it. And listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, Charles Damiano here with Hector Martinez. Hey, guys, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on these videos. We have a lot more coming up. And remember to turn on your post notifications so you're in tune with when these next episodes are coming up. I want to thank Hector uh, for joining us again here today. Thank My you pleasure, so much, bro. and thank you guys for joining us.